Hi Dr. Nelson, I am so confused, can you please shed some light on the difference between probiotic and prebiotic? Susan, though the two sound the same they are poles apart. Probiotics contain from one to a few species of bacteria, occurs naturally in fermented foods like yogurt and sauerkraut. They are affected by heat, cold, acid and dye in time. The stomach, generally acid is hostile to these bacterias. Best way to get them into the colon where it belongs is via an enema. Prebiotics are a very special form of dietary fiber, not affected by heat and cold and nourish the thousands of good bacterial already living in the colon hostile to bad bacteria. The best way to get them into the system is by having plenty of green, raw fruits and vegetables, sprouted legumes and seeds, with the least amount of sugar and carbs. Other source. Rich in prebiotics are polydextrose to isomaltooligosaccharides. Prebiotics enter the colon and nourish the beneficial bacteria. Species like the lactobacillus and bifidobacter. The difference between the two are, probiotics can be considered like seeds to a starved lawn where prebiotics are like the fertilizer that feeds the lawn. Which will you prefer? Of course I will prefer the later. It is more sensible, cheaper in the long run and more beneficial to the health of the colon. Why then are manufacturers not disclosing prebiotics? Susan, the manufacturers are only concerned in making as much money from their gimmicks, rather than truly educate the public, who ignorantly fall into fashion for these tricks. Dr. Nelson, as always your approach has been to educate your patients. For this I am grateful. Now I know the difference between probiotics and prebiotics, I can make my choice.